Tri-City, the white and purple sweaters, moving right to left. Thanks for joining us. Face-off victory, Ryan Smith. And Seth Constance knocks it onside immediately. Storm looking to hold the line. They do. They chop it just wide of the net there. Road tries to center in on goal, and it's still free. Can they fire it? They're looking for it. Can they shoot to the head? And eventually it's taken by the Stampede. Storm looks to get back on it. A shot save made by Corpy, and the rebound is in behind the net. Corpy's way out of position here. Could be trouble. Across the rink. Road off in a line change. Back into Rizzo to replace him. There's a hit the fans like as LaCroix goes flying in. Good continuous action. Play Savoy onside, looking to get the storm. The lead out in front, the rebound's there. Can they put it home? It's right there at the top of the crease. And it's covered up by Manns. And now we've got pushing and shoving as they look to break everyone apart. But what a chance down the wing that time. Back behind the net now. They look to fire one. It's high in the zone. Ganani Jolly shoots one. Shot blocked by Briere. It's not out of the zone, though. Top of the left circle to go. Slap shot goes wide. Storm look for it here in the corner. Swatted that by McEwen. And then it's played by Anderson. He was the hero last night. 11-14, the time of his power play goal in overtime. Here he is again, and the rebound goes in on the far side. It's 1-0. And so Anderson able to fire it to the pads of Cameron Corby. And it's Noah Ayer. Second game of a best of three. Tri-City has to win to keep their season alive. Posthumous a drive. And that was a tester of a shot in on Christian Manns. I don't think he's faced anything quite that powerful so far tonight. A really good look. Big goal that Balloon scored in last night's game. It was late in the second period. 17-48. Long shot here. Gloved up by Manns. And collected by Rukinakis. Onside. Shooting it. Looking for a rebound. And there was one. But the Storm could not find it. Higher in the zone now. Constance. McEwen. John McEwen holding on to it. Chips it down low behind the goal. Good move there by Beckner. Centers across, free air shoots, tip just wide of the goal. A.J. Lacroix was on the doorstep. And not very different. Here's Brie Air, look out here, it's almost tipped in by Cholich. And that would have been bad to give up for the Stampede. Sean McEwen has it, across the zone he goes. As McNeilis got tied up, they throw in the slot, they fire one, it's blocked, rebounds there, they're trying to find it with August Balloon, and it's into the corner. Really good chances. Another one towards the goal. Rebound given up. Can they fire? Balloon could not. He had his stick lifted. 35 seconds to play in the first period. Back on side quickly. Balloon's got a chance. Shoots it just wide of the goal. Face off at center and immediately on side for Briere here on the power play. Holds on to it. Pulls it back behind the net. It's played ahead. Off the backhand. Storm have it on side. Briere fires one, and Mans makes a save. It's loose off the back of the goal behind him. That one stays in play as it went off the glass. Bounces down, and it's just tipped wide there. Constance let a shot go. Beckner found it. One minute to play on the power play. Wide open, Briere. Shooting, score! Cam Briere, power play goal. 1-1, tie game. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed. Lots of pressure, lots of puck movement. You know, a lot of stuff carried over from that first period. You could feel it building, building, building. Feels great to get one. Through the neutral zone. Here they go. Pelosi snaps it near side. McNeilis. And that one almost directed, redirected the wrong way. It took a bounce in front of Corpy. Now it's down towards center again. Could be a two-on-one. Look out here. They fire one in Cameron Corpy with a nice save. Rybakov, they go across. It's blocked. Storm still can't find it, looking for it. Fans wanted a call there, and Nizamayev up the wing. He goes down at center. Nothing cold. Nizamayev with a check. He nearly had a play down the rink right off the faceoff. Look out here, could be trouble. Ryan Smith finds it. And a penalty called against the Stampede. We think. We saw this earlier, and it's touched up by Sioux Falls. And Smith went in to apply a check, and now we got a storm in the corner. Broken up by Nick Rukinakis, and through center it goes. Onside, LaPenta somehow. LaPenta scored twice last night. Price it gets again, then a bad giveaway in front. They go, they fire and score. A turnover leads to a goal, and it's 2-1. to 5.51 to play in the second period. Cameron Corpy had next to no chance on that. Rossi towards the goal block, trying to find his own rebound here. And it's fired to the line, not out. 
towards the goal, right in on goal. Save made by Manze center, and it's taken aside by Sioux Falls in front of the goal. Lots of action here, and a tripping penalty against the Storm. Sobieski loads up. They'll find Pelosi. They drag it across. Across they go. They fire it. It just went wide. They just missed on a wide open play. Storm could be aggressive here. They'll hold the line towards the goal. Tipped in front. Can they fire it? In on goal. Mans makes the save, and that's it for the period. And the Storm that close to tying the hockey game. And Tri-City has got to win this game. Here we go. Face off at center ice and the final frame of regulation time is underway. Trying to find it here is Sean McEwen in the defensive end. Anderson looks to swipe it away. He got clipped up high and they will make the call. Green Bay on the board in the third period. They're down by one. Two to one against Chicago. Look out here and on goal. Cameron Corpy with a great save. After the stampede centered it. Constance looked to clear. It was blocked by Smith unintentionally. Now he's got it. Onside with Road in front of that. Fires it. Save made by Mann. And J.J. Weebush off the backhand. Moves it down the rink. Out in front they go. They fire one here and it's blocked. And down he goes. Out towards the neutral zone. They hold the line though. And then eventually it is played out at center. And the Storm had a player take a check from behind. And the penalty's been cold. 25 seconds left to go in this power play. Here we go, perhaps the final time on the power play. A tie up at center, Nizamayev has it. In front, they fire with a goal! August Balloon, power play goal, we're tied again! Two to two, 8.51, left to go in the third period. There was a tie up at center, Balloon on side, open, in it goes, tie game. And he'll wait. Now he turns, fires back down low. They've got to play back behind the net. Posthumus open in front. Can he fire it? And it goes wide. I think Mann's got a piece of it. Posthumus was wide open there. It's off the end wall. Giveaway and a bad one. La Pinta. And Cameron Corpy has it. Has room with Briere at center. Gives the pass to Briere. Shooting a long one. Oh, hit the post, I believe. And it goes up and out of play. And that one surprised Christian Mann. But Zab, I think that one caught the iron. Stolen away by the Storm. Ten seconds left. Can they beat the buzzer again? Onside here in the third period. They have to retreat with Philip Lee Savoy. Numbers for the Stampede. They cross. It's offside. One second left to go in the third period. One second left. Face off outside of the zone. There it is. Overtime tonight again. Overtime again for the Storm in the Clark Cup playoffs. Face off on the logo. And taken back into the defensive end by Sobieski. And the Sioux Falls Stampede. Storm get it off a turnover and from the goal. It goes and it got tipped wide. Tipped just wide by August Balloon. Out towards center they go with it. And here come the Stampede looking to win the game with Cholich. Shooting it across, and it's up and over the goal. The Stampede celebrating on the bench. They were jumping up and down. They thought they had won the series. Already in the opening half minute. Action up and down the ice. Here they go. Onside, a drive, and man fumbled it a couple of times there. But Ryan Smith has found it. Ryan Smith onside, he's open, shooting it. Rebounds there, they're looking for it. It's out to center. Captured by Constance Cambriere. Stutter step. Onside, Lucas Kevich, Balloon a one-timer, my goodness! What a save by the pads of man! August Balloon with a rocket towards the goal. Stampede a drive and a glove save made by Corpy. And it separates him from the puck. So now Sioux Falls collects it. They move it down the rink. Tri-City back to play, then Corpy's tripped up here. All the fans want to call, Corpy's not moving. Harper shooting it wide of the goal. Harper gets taken down on the penalty, will be called here, I think. On Harper going down. Cameron Corpy is still on his knees. And we're going to take a look on the replay here. And if the replay confirms what I think happened and there's no call, that is completely unacceptable. Yeah. Corpy's entitled to that space. He's entitled to stand in that space. Falloon and Phelan are out there. Here comes Philip Blaze Savoy. Now, the Storm have to kill a penalty after all of this. Anthony Noreen is going to go to the front of the bench. 
He can't believe it. There was some controversy last night. Yeah, I'm not sure how he ended up on the penalty kill after all that was said and done, but I guess nothing should surprise us on this stuff. No, it shouldn't. So they call a cross check to Blaise Savoy. And from the face off, we're back playing again. Storm once again are killing a penalty in overtime of the season on the line. Jock blocked by Sean McEwen. Storm don't have it. Stampede take it back behind the net. Five minutes gone by in the overtime. There's a minute 37 left on this power play. Another shot. This time Corpy makes a save. Sobieski, across they go. Shot, kicked out by Corpy, cleared. They can't fire yet, Borgula. Sobieski, near side, McNeilis, shoots it, blocked in front, it's free. They look to find it, they fire from the knees there, and a save made by Corpy, and it stays out. And now Briere steals it, two on two. Here we go, short-handed, Briere curls in front, backhander shut down though by Manns. And we play on. Smith gets knocked down. Fans won't like that either. Stampede stretch it up through center. They're onside and on Corpy here. Storm looked to clear. Out to the neutral zone. Philip Blaise Savoy will rejoin his teammate. Storm shouldn't have had to kill it, but they do. Stampede up the rink with it. Onside. They go in front of the net to win the game. They fire here and it's blocked. They move it around, Cholich fires, glove save, Cameron Corpy. Artemi Nizamiyev, they go across, they'll drop it ahead with Jake Rossi. Played by Christian Manns, then nearly a giveaway penalty call here, I think the Storm go to the power play. Nizamiyev went down, tripping cold, Tri-City will have a pump and pantry power play. Seth Constance high in the zone, now Cambriere in front, they got the tip and it went wide. 107 to go on the power play. Constance goes in front. Lacroix to Rossi. Here's Jake Rossi. Now Seth Constance shooting along with. They score! Owen Beckner tips it in. We're going to come back tomorrow. 3 to 2. Owen Beckner has won the game for the Tri City Storm. Sioux Falls wants this looked at with a high stick. I don't know if you can review this or not, but they're certainly wanting this looked at. Owen Beckner is celebrating with his teammates here in the corner, but they are going to take a look at this. Head coach Anthony Noreen is going over and settling his players down. He's saying, hang on. Now we have players turning around, coaches turning around and, and looking at us, trying to get our opinions on the matter. Here we go, here we go. This is it, this is it. Here's the call, it's a goal! The Tri-City Storm have won the game in overtime. Owen Beckner with the goal. We're gonna come back tomorrow. It's an overtime game-winning goal on home ice in the Clark Cup playoffs. 